house of the Lord. We thank the Lord for His mercy and for His power. We thank Him for He is good. He is compassionate and of mercy. This is a good day today. We got up and we are still alive. We still have breath in our lungs. Everything that God says, believe it. He knows what was. He knows what shall be. He knows what will be. What concerns you before God? He needs not to inquire from anyone about your life. He knows everything. So whatever he says to you, believe it. Because it shall come to pass. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord my God. When I in awesome wonder Consider all The world thy hand has made I see the surf I hear the roaring thunder Thy power throughout The universe then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. How great thou art.
Alléluia. Ça va. Ça va. Il me sait que mes connaissances. I request you to lift your hands up and thank God for the gift of life. Say to him, thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you for the breath that is in my lungs. Thank you because my heart is functioning. My eyes can see. My ears can hear. I am alive. Because the living will worship God. And the living experience everything that God has. The living will reach every level of victory. We thank you, O oh Lord. We glorify you, we praise you. We worship you, Prince of Peace. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your goodness. We give you glory. We give you praise. We thank you, you who keeps us safe and alive. We thank you, you who protects us from evil. We thank you that protects us from accidents. You who keeps us safe and to all dangers. Oh, we thank you, Lord, because you are good. Thank you for the blood of our Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We say thank you, we thank you, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for our people. Thank you for our nation, Uganda. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for the pastor. Thank you for the gospel that is being preached. Thank you for every plan upon our lives. We glorify you, we praise you, Lord. You are the Lord who is great. We love you, King of Kings. You are great. You are merciful. You are holy. You are worthy. Thank you for bringing life to us. Thank you for breaking every snare. Thank you that fights in the day. You who fights. You who takes away snakes in the middle of the world. You who takes away axe heads. You who takes away robbers. You who takes away killers. Thank you, 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 thank you knew us before we were giving our mothers You have a good plan You have a good plan and so our lives Oh, we thank you, Lord You are merciful, you are full of grace You are full of love Oh, God of glory Oh, be glorified, oh God You lead us. You make us win in every time and every season. You provide better than everybody else. What shall we give you our God? What shall we give you our shepherd? We want to worship you. We want to thank you. We open up our mouth and we say, Jesus, you are good. We say, Jesus, you are good. We say, you are good. You are good, Jesus. You are good. There is nobody that has the love that you have. No provider is like you, Lord. Nobody helps. We have brought praise unto you. We have brought glory unto you. We praise you, Lord. You protect the women. You protect the men. You protect the 
in your mighty supernatural godly power you can do everything we thank you for the gift of life many age with us but are going to be guardian others are in the hospitals others have been wasted with drugs others have been wasted with drugs Others are hospitalized because they are. Possessed. But we thank you because you have loved us. You protect us going out and coming in. You keep us in the night as we sleep. You've not let the plans of our enemies come to, to see the, any, any success. Other people are on life support. Machines, but we have breath in our land. When we look at our bodies functioning well, when we see the things you've done for us this week, and we say, Lord, you are good. Jesus, you said, Fear not. Life is better than everything. Else. It is better than food. It's better than cloth. You said if a person is alive, they will achieve every victory. You said no hair falls on the ground of ours that you do not know about. Not even a bird that lands on the ground if you did not know about it. You designed the grass that is here today and in the evening it is withering. And you say, would your father in heaven do much more? The devil will never lie to us that you do not like us. The devil will never lie to us that you will not work for us. He will, he will never lie to us that you're not among us. You are God Almighty. You have brought us from the Mary Clay and put us Ela, on the hill. And you are guiding our going. We thank you, Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Please go ahead and be seated. In your life, never allow anything to stop you from thanking God. The things you've not received yet life, or the things you've gone through, let them never hinder you from glorifying God. Nothing is as important as valuable as life. Ezekiel 29. Ezekiel 29 verse 17. 29 through 20, uh, 17 through 21. By Bregamenchi, our Lord took up a mark of Guamacumi, of gold, very Kulunaku Uruomwezi Ogoru Bereberie Echigambo Chiamu Kamane Chijira Chijira Ngachogera And it came to pass in the 27th year in the first month on the, on the first day of the month that the word of the Lord came to me saying Ti omwana womut Nebukaduneza Kavakawe Babylon 
Yatabaza ejerie Rutabalo Olunene Okuruanyisa Tulo Bulimutwe buli Nekubako Echiwala atanavuli Chibega bega Nechibako Nechibambuka Ilana ye Teaina Pera ne wankubade Eje ye okufa Etulo Ololu Tabalo Rea Kitabala Son of man Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon Caused his army to labor Strenuously against Tyre Every Every head was made bald And every shoulder rubbed raw Yet neither the Neither nor his army received wings from, from Tyre for the labor which they expended on it. Mukama Gatonda Chava Ayogera Boatinti Lava Ndiwa Nebukaduneza Kabaka Webabloni NCA Missidi Ela Ali Twalida Dala Atwala Lachi Wanji. Bayo, Nanyaga Omunyago, Guam, Nanyaga Omuigo, Guam, Rai Rivera, Empera J. D. Therefore, thus says the Lord God Surely I will give the land of Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He shall take away her wealth, carry off her spoil, and remove her pilage, and that will be the wages for his army. Agambye muwadde NCM City okuba empela eje yatabalila kubanga bakola omulimu gwange bwayogera mukama katonda I have given him the land of Egypt for his labor because he, they worked for me says the Lord God Runaku olwo ndimereza ejembe enyumba ya Israeli era ndiwa okwa kola ching in that day, I will cause, cause the horn of the house of Israel to spring forth, and I will open your mouth to speak in their midst. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 17. Amen. Verse 17 through 21. You're all welcome into the house of the Lord. Have you ever done anything good for anyone? Have you ever done anything good for someone? You yearn to do good things for people. Ogenda kwegamba, ogenda gamba kuri nani? Tole kaya kola. You're going to tell yourself, you will tell the person seated right next to you that never stop doing good. Whenever we do good, God says we have done that for him. I want to speak to you this morning. The word of God. God does not forget the good things that you do. And every good thing that you do has its day to be fulfilled. In that day, God will amaze you. You may do good. You may keep on doing good. Whenever you do good things, there is a sign. It means that if you give today, it doesn't mean that you will reap tomorrow. No. It does not mean that whenever you do a good thing, he will right away respond with a good thing. You've got to play your part. No and wait. The season of God. 
Why do people stop doing good? And they say, I've been good to people, but I've been rewarded badly. God does not trash anything. The good news that I have for you. Even that person that you think is way evil. That person that drinks and falls by the side of the road. If they have done anything good. All people belong to God. All people. And God knows when he will bring salvation to everyone. God can use anyone to cause another person to achieve victory. For everyone that God created, you are an answer to a multitude of people. Every person was born. God brought you forth from heaven and brought you into the earth. And he used your parents that you may, you may have a body. You are a body. But within you, there is that one that is in the image of God. He did not come from the earth. He came from heaven. And he dwells in you. He is the one working within you. That is his house. And he has the plan of God upon him. That God gave to him to fulfill on the earth. And it is aligned with the people that you will get to meet in your life. Why does the devil hate just one person? Why does he hate two people? Even three people. You look at yourself today. But you are an answer to so many people in the world. Some people will be looking good to you. Others will be looking ugly to you. But they need you. Now the Bible says, King Nebuchadnezzar, when you read about him, there is, a, there is a side that you will go with. But God used this king, Nebuchadnezzar, to fight with the king of Tyre. One that was persecuting his people. The Bible has said they went to battle. And they fought the war. This was a mighty great war. And even his men got old in the battle. And, and, and their shoulders began to, began to wear out. And the time came and the war was completed. And there was a silence. They did not get any reward. But God knew about it. They have fought. And these, that and that has happened to them. But no reward had come to them yet. Is there anyone that wants to do good and not be rewarded for it? But God knows the money that you give 
to do the work. The energy you expend in doing the work of God. The strength that you expend in the world to the people of God. God knows you find someone falling on the street from the street, ask them, where do you live? Can I take you home? Literally, you will be, you, you will be insulted by people. Did he not drink it knowing? He's, he's going to stink of drink. But as you're lifting it up from the roadside, in heaven it is recorded. He has done good. Now there is a day. That you will be rewarded for everything you've gone through in a bad experience for doing good. One time people asked Jesus. And Jesus was saying to them, yes, you did good. And they said, when did we do good to you? And he said, when I was ill, you came to visit me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was hungry, you gave me what to eat. And he said, when did we do that? When we were hungry, you multiplied bread and gave it to us to eat. And Jesus said to them, the things you did for those ones, the least of these, the ones that were naked, when you visited the sick, you were doing for me. Hey. Do you know? Because every life that you see today, Jesus paid for it Every person you see today, every life you see today has been paid for already. And the enemy knows that the life is paid for already. Have you come to think about it? That all the people that you see, even the ones drinking right now in the bar, all of them can go to heaven. And heaven backs them. As you read your Bible, the Bible says, talks about the names in the book. It talks about removing the names. You cannot look in the book what is not there. The Bible says the names will be looked up in the book. And the name that won't be found in the book, those people will be cast into, the, into hell. How do you look for a name? Eh? How do you look for a name in the book okay, you know wasn't written? Moses says this to God. If you're not forgiving these people, erase me out of your book. Take my name out of your book. And what does God respond? And God says, Nope. The one who defiles my name is whose name I blot out. When? The day the person breathes the last breath. That's the day heaven gives upon you. And it says, The moment you leave the life of this earth, that's when the name is blotted out. But everyone that you see, Heaven still believes 100% that you can believe and receive Christ. I was just like the same. You are the same. Now the Bible has said, 
Nebuchadnezzar. The word of God comes to Ezekiel, the prophet. And Nebuchadnezzar with his army, they went to battle and they did the work. And the Bible says they, they did the work. And there was a stillness. They did not get any reward. Ask your neighbor, have you done good and not been rewarded before? Have you done good to some people? And they did not reward you well? Now, tell them it's not, it's, it's not that person that rewards you. Whatever you do, Diana, Diana, you're not doing for Mrs. Kaima. You're doing for God. Take out that mindset. I'm done helping people. I do good to people, they pay me back sadly. I used to visit people, nobody visits me. I, I care. Nobody cares. Neda. No. Yes, Jesus, yes, you've done something good for the people in the external world, but understand this. Know this. Whatever you do, you do it unto God. He alone has the reward. No one can pay you enough for the good you've done. No one. Your strength, your money, the amount of care you've given, emotional investment, everything. Because no one has the weights. God knows when, when you do good, what is worth giving back to you. Now this man got old in the battle. And then th th their shoulders got worn out. There is nothing good that they got. Nothing he got out of the way. But God knew. He knew that this army fought with this some people died. People lost their property. And God is telling Ezekiel, Nebuchadnezzar did not go reward. When he attacked Tyre, and verse 19, what does he say? Mukama Karona Chafa, Ayogera Bwat, Nti, Lava. Ndi wa Nebuchadnezzar kabaka we Babylon ensiye Misiri. Ela alituwalira dala. Wanji olufulube rwachi babantu. Aha. Bantu bayo. Nanyaga omunyago. Tusomera bamunako lachi? Nanyaga omunyago gwamu. Nanyaga omunyago gwachi? Gwamu. Aha. Nanyaga omuyigo gwamu. Nanya go mu nyigo gwachi gwamu aha era ye eriba empera ye jeri era ye gendo kubera empera ye je je kale teberesa just imagine nebukadnezar tamanyi nebukadnezar did not know katonda ye atege sebyo nebiri mu gwanga lye emisi but god has prepared every wealth in the land of egypt bibeya nebukadnezar ne jeri to be a reward to nebukadnezar nyagalola bo bunene I want to see how great this is. He said, all the people in there, I've given them to him. Those people will obey him and they will serve him. All the wealth in that land, everything, 
everything in that land I have given unto him. A while ago, whenever a country sieged another country, that other country would give tribute to the country that took ownership. And that country used to get wealth and loot from that country. Now, every good thing you do, God has a big plan. You are angry, frustrated, disappointed, you hate on the one you did good for, you begin to say things in the status against them, you don't want to say hi to them, you see how you are being humiliated by this word, you see how you are being put in check, you are looking at this person, but God has planned to amaze you with his goodness. There's a place he's prepared to give you. You are murmuring for just the crumbs on the ground. When I had money, I used to do this. This I used to do this. I used to, you're just whining for no reason. I, 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 I clean the chairs. I, I, mop, I mop the ground. I, I take care of the, the, the plants. I don't have anyone to give me a tip. I, I, I clean the windows. I clean the louvers. I do everything that I must, must do. Why are you whining for crumbs? When God has a city, he's prepared to give you as a reward for a blessing. He has prepared acres of land for you, people around them do not see the value of it. They just pass by. They don't see anything good in that land. Because God has spared the land for you. But you are complaining. My brothers don't care about me. My siblings don't care about me. My neighbor cares not about me. I taught, I taught so and so's child. They forgot about me. I dressed that girl. They didn't care about me. They forgot about me. You have failed yourself to see the goodness of the Lord. Because God has never told you to help a person so you, you are helped in return. I cried with so and so. They are just laughing when I'm going through a hard time. Know that everything that you do. I see you're still complaining in your heart. God has set a blessing for you. Whatever you did, some things he will set to save you from the plans of the evil one. Now you say, my life Forgive everyone you've been whining about. Do good. Keep on doing good. Keep on doing good. They've done, they've treated you badly. You keep on doing good. God is good. Keep on doing good. When God arises and he begins to count the good things you've done, you will ask yourself, from where are these blessings coming? Because God comes to a time and he begins to say, oh, okay, 2005, 2005, this child did good to this elderly person. My son treated so and so well. 
tout n'est fini n'est faux if this one did not support this other child they would not succeed in education the way they did and so he says in the book of chronicles what was this child rewarded i needed money last year I wanted to do some stuff. I usually go and set up conferences in, in the rural areas. And I also had some people to meet. I have extra five children save for my biological children. School fees bandi bubi. I support them in education, so they needed tuition for their school. So I asked the Lord that I needed money for it. And I told him about it. And I continued to have faith in God. Quite a lot when I'm in the presence of the Lord, I turn my phone off. But sometimes when I turn it back on, I see the missed calls that I could not attend to. Now I saw a call that was repeated over and over again. I did not know what phone call that could have been. Quite enough, I respond if I have time to respond to the message. Now the following day, there was something that was needed. I went to pray and kept my phone on. I knew that there was a call that I had to receive because it was coming from a specific place. And that specific number rang my phone. And I knew who it was that was calling. And so after the service, I called back. And they told me, Daddy, how are you doing? This is me calling. I had supported the, the, the child in school. Senior two through senior six. And they said, I wanted, I wanted to see you. But I work a far off a distance from you. And we, we try to set up appointments and we couldn't work. But he said, I was going to the, to the supermarket to buy something for you. But because I failed... What name is, is a reference to the mobile money transaction? And I said, maybe they would send me 100,000 shillings for the, for the shopping or the stuff. So she sent, he, she sent 600,000. And he said, that was my first stop over the mobile money. Get me the MTN number, I can send more money. And on the, on the MTN, they spent a million shillings. And they said, I'm, looking, I'm seeking another stop over so I can send more money. And sent on Airtel 400,000. And then they say so to you me, I'm sorry I couldn't come to see you. I was, I was going to shop that into something to bring for you, but go ahead and shop without me. Now, the time I spent without hearing from that child, I played my part and that was it. The following day, all the school fees was paid up. I, I, I met my needs. And we went to the gospel to preach. And I said, whoever does not have transportation, I'm going to support you. Let's go. They said, where are you going to get the money from? Worry not, let's just go. I did not know at all that God would use that one person in the midst of my need. Only do good. God knows when he will reward you. Only do good. Keep on doing good. In due time, you will be rewarded. The challenge with the people here today, you say, I'm done with this. I want to hear you saying, this is it. And you are just only done with one person. 
And you say, I'm done. I want you to say lastly in that phrase, I'm done with Satan. This is it. That's it. If you say, I am done, don't say you're done with any person. Don't say I'm done with my people at home. I'm done with people calling me to ask for money. No. If the money is not available, tell them, my friend, right now, Pray for me. When the angels bring providence to me. But don't say I am tired of the souls. Whenever you say that word. There are ac- the acres of land. You cut there is a city. There's a blessing. That blessing was going to save you at one point. And God had planned that you would help this person and then you would be saved at this point. And just that one thing you're doing will undo the snare of the devil. Nebuchadnezzar was not an Israelite. No. But he was created by God. I mean, call over lunch. Do good. Go back and do what you must do. That word that I am done. Get rid of it. Leave it to the devil. Meet every person in this life what you need to everyone. One thing. May God bless you. That's all you need from the person. Whether they have greeted you, if they have remembered you, or they have not remembered you, regardless of how many houses have forgotten about you, they are not the ones with your reward. Esther 6. Esther 6. Esther chapter 6, verse 1. Bible says Jesus Listen to this. What have you seen? Eh? What have you read? What is outstanding in that verse? The book of the records of the chronicles and they were read before the king. The things you do every day. Eh? The good things you do every day. The money you leave at the desk at your home. And you come back and not ask for the balance. (laughs) The things that you do. (laughs) Those things are written down. The things you do. You found people, say it hello to them. The other one says to the other person, let me pray to God. Even if God just gives me a bike. Even if God just gives me a motorbike. If God gives me a vehicle. I, I, I should drive and splash water on that person just like they did to me. I will, I will. I will just find a, a uh, opportune uh, moment and just hit them with it with the uh, mud. Do not let that to be recorded in your book. No, it's not necessary. Let only the good stuff be written in your book. Think about this woman. Jimmy. Have you dreamt about this woman? Have you read about this woman? Wanji? Yani. Imiro Mumbuli. Wanji? Wanji? Wamusumako. 
Ya mchalo weku njoke lako. Tuno kutuko. Vango suwa denyo. <laughs> Tula wasi. Omchalo yo. Katika mkuli lomu ogele rinyo. Let me tell you about this woman. Omchalo no yali mwenzi malaya. She, she was... She was a harlot. But when Joshua sends Malaya, spies, the harlot, Rahab the harlot who was despised by people, he hid the spies in her house and they had gone to spy Jericho, spy on Jericho. Uh-huh. What is her name? Rahab. Rahab. Yakweka. And she hid ye, the spies. Katona wasula yeliko. But when God demolishes Jericho, he did not let any family member of this woman Okutiwa. to be killed. Katona yagamba bona musanye wo. God says say it annihilate everyone in the Okutiwa in the, in the space. Malaya. Except ne the hallowed and the ones that she kept in house, she brought her siblings all her parents her friends everyone that was in her household maybe maybe she packed them one on the other and no one was killed and what was the reason she did good to the house of Israel she hid the spies, the Israelite spies. And the ones that were looking for them were oh. not, could not find them. You will not die. Uh-uh. No. Regardless of what the devil is telling you, there are things that you have done. Eh? There are things that you have done. That book has not been read yet. Maybe they read about it last month. And in the ninth month or the tenth month, they might do wrong call again. And they say, my daughter did this. My son, what was he rewarded with? Verse 2. Verse 2. Akaswero. Ao kabaka na yo geranti, chiti wa chi, nabukuru chi, murodokai, biawewa orwecho. Ao abad duwa kabaka, abamu wele zanga, nebo geranti, te walichi intu chawe le duwa. Kaya ulida. Olaba. Murodokai, just, ya wayo mubaka. Mordecai just gave a a message. He heard people conspiring to kill the king. And he did not keep quiet. He did not say this king brought us into exile. Let him be killed. No. Mordecai. Mordecai. Did not know that when he gives this testimony. Eh? That the testimony he's giving is what will save him from their enemies. Once they were being led by Haman, he wanted to kill Mordecai and all the Israelites. He did not know. Why have I told you? Mrs. Kaima, when you look at no, Diana mama, na yeta and you say, I visited her, she has not visited me back. The visitation that you paid her, is it worth a reward back to you when she visits we you? When we do good, we when we do good, what do you want to be paid back with? 
I lost such and such. No one cared for me. When you went and buried for them, what, what, did, what did you get out of that? But God knows that when so and so went to encourage and support, and support this person that was grieving, this is what he deserves to be paid back. To when, you, when you lose someone in Bukele, and this friend of yours does not in, in turn come to bury for you, do not get angry. It is not what you are worth. So and so, I gave them good clothes. I'm asking them to just do my hair. They are saying no, and I help them. When you did good to them, do you think that your reward is worth having your hair done, just a hairdo, that's it? Turn to your neighbor and say, I am really ashamed of myself. I am really, really ashamed of myself. I have helped quite a number of people. And they forgotten all about me. And they did not care about me. And some of them even spoke evil, spoke ill against me. I had I had done, I, I had given up doing good. I was looking at people and counting how they reward me. But according to what the, the word of God that he's saying to me, I am even ashamed of myself. That person, we, we used to eat at the same table with that person. Now they forgot all about us. I helped them to even go abroad. He forgot all about me. A time comes after you've done good that there is a stillness. When you've done good, and it begins to seem as if nobody sees what good things you've done. But the king of kings he wrote it in his book of records of the Chronicles. Psalm 56 and verse 8. Psalm 56 and verse 8, then we'll come back to this. Oteka amaziga gange. Aha. Na wa luzungu basomere. You number my wanderings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Kati dayeri yetwade. Let's go back to Esther 6. Agambye gwe obala okutambula kwange. He says you record my wanderings. Obala. You count we walk and we grow weary. Long journeys. You come back at midnight. Last Saturday we came back at midnight. And at six we were going to Mukono. Way deep in the village. The village was sieged. The Islamic chairman told us that that village was full of sorcery, that the person that was highly educated in that village was at Pitu level. That the village needed to know God. Because when God comes to a place, he changes it. When the pastor built a church there, had a wife, the wife left him, and then he got another woman. Church failed. Church failed. And so God spoke with one of our people to go to that village to pray and fast and to start the work. On Sunday, 
The church had, had experienced a fortnight praying. I want you to think about this. the place that you are renting to pray at. But you will pay 10,000 shillings at the end of the month. It's not too far. Mokono. Because of sorcery and witchcraft, everything is way backwards. And the chairman said that I have struggled way hard to train a child up to senior six. And I also just, I also just came to this, to this village. But the ones that are natives in this area. A Muslim told us, let the gospel be spread that the, the, this, this place might be set free. That pastor was warned not to drink water from there, not to eat anything from there. And until the days were completed when he was praying and fasting. Because the people in that place only think evil. But whenever you do good, the Bible has said, he, he counts our wonders. All the tears that you cry, he keeps them in a bottle. And he writes in the book. Why does God not reward you, and you today? right after you've done the good thing? Because everything God allows you to do has got a time, a right time when it will bring you salvation. when Mordecai was speaking he did not know that the words he said unto the king the words he submitted to the king to warn him that God would use those words to save Israel he did not know Whatever you are thinking about, let go of that stuff. God knows. Exactly. He knows that a day will come when you'll have an enemy. Enemy. And that enemy will roar so loudly. And somebody you helped once had an enemy. And, and God will remember that to save you from the next enemy. Problem. You will read, you will read in your time of devotion. Please stand to your feet. Tell the person right next to you. Go ahead. Do not stop doing good. Tell them if you had stopped doing good. Once again, do good. Again, do good. That whatever that you do. It, it will save you from the killer. I wanted to give you more, but time did not permit us. All of you remember that woman called Dolka. She, she got sick and she died. And people say Dolka is not to be buried. Why? Because she was doing good. They sent Peter. And Dolka came back to life. Because she was doing good. Church. Sometimes we tell you to give to the cause of the gospel. Give to the cause of the thanksgiving. Somebody needs help. Please give for that. And somebody says, do not give that money. But that's your greatest enemy. Because the money you give towards the thing. The one who tells you that it's going to be put to waste. They're just going to eat food 
out of that money. There is a person. That person stood here and testified for how long he had taken without eating meat and matoke. We find people out there and they say we only get to eat beef when we come for the Thanksgiving. And they say, please don't give us, don't give us uh, root tubers when we come for the Thanksgiving. Because that's our food here in the village. There was a tent of, of uh, uh, nursing, uh, medical tent in the in the rural area budget on tuesday the people that budgeted for it uh, included beans as part of the items on sunday they ate beef then monday they said they would eat beans just for a change when I went there, I told them these people do not like people. I told them the good thing is I went on the People were given beans and matoke. They left, they left the beans on the plate and they were littered all over the, the campus. And I told them, I warned you before you did that. And I told them, let them eat beef the whole week straight. Do not waste money to buy, buying beans. Leave these beans for the people in the city. School. Leave the beans for the students. Really. When, they, when they eat beans in the city, that's okay. Kampala, Kampala, Kampala eat beans, they eat chicken, they eat fish. They eat, they, they eat shrimp. They eat, that's what they eat. But the people in the village, Someone prayed, found money for transportation, they came to eat beef. Give the money. The money that you're given. God knows when he will save you for it. Lift up your hands and thank God. Thank him with your words. Be glorified, O oh Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you because you are good. Thank you because of your grace. Thank you for this day. Today. Thank you for the super Sunday. O oh Lord. The book is being opened. You see the good things everyone has come to And you're doing good to everyone and for everyone. Some people have been crying. And others gave up Because they felt they were not rewarded for the good things they've done. Others, their neighbors. And for others, their siblings and their nephews and nieces. For other people, it's their friends. But Lord, you have said to us, you alone are the rewarder of everyone that does good. That your rewarding is way different. It's not like people. When someone gives money, when you come to help, you help in a different way. I've prayed for these, my friends. Boys and girls. I pray, O oh Lord, that you reward everyone well. When the books of remembrance are being opened, some people have slept down on the floor and they have on the bed. 
Others, others have sacrificed their lives for the sake of others. But when you're looking at the books of the reports, look at their houses. For others, it's their parents that sacrificed their lives. And they did good. Oh Lord. Remember them for their parents' sakes. Remember them for their father's sakes. For their mother's sakes. Their other siblings of theirs. Your people have done many good things. I pray that the unrighteousness be remembered. For the blood of Jesus, let the unrighteousness be But for your grace, O oh God, you say in your word, never stop doing good. Because giving good makes make you weary. But never grow weary. Never stop. Because you have the plan. Whenever we do good, you amaze us. Holy Spirit. Mordecai did not know that the good things he had done would save him from his enemy and his household and the Israelites and the guillotine that he was going to be upon when Herman had planned that what he had done good for was his was was the and you would exalt him that he that was despised he would be glorified that he would put on kingly garments and to sit on the, on the horse, the kingly horse and to be declared that this man is the beloved of the king and he is pleased and the ones that were not bowing to him the ones that were planning to do evil against him they were all bowing to him because one day Mordecai did good. I know that this entire multitude as we get into the third service you're going to do good for us. You're going to do mighty, wonderful things. You will wipe tears. You will take away pain. You will heal. Thank you for all the people that are coming from all the corners of the earth. Thank you for the good transport. Thank you for the angels that are leading them to this place. Thank you for the worship and for the praise. For your word, we give you glory and praise. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord.